please rise for the Pledge to the Flag. Good morning, Cedar Crest. It's Tuesday, April 9th. I'm Emma Eisman. And I'm Abby Greenwald. Coming up, information on the new ID scanners. Also, we have Cole with your sports news. We'll be right back with all this in your school news. In class news, Hack will host an open house on Wednesday, April 17th from 6 to 8 p.m. Enjoy free food and drinks and free Hack t-shirt. Learn about hacks, programs, and scholarship opportunities. Seniors, the prom committee still wants pictures of you and your friends. Send your photos to cchs19pixforprom at gmail.com. Pictures should be with people who are also from the class of 2019 and can be as old as elementary school or as recent as this school year. Class of 2022, class office petition forms need to be completed and returned to Mr. Warren Average by tomorrow. Forms are available in Mr. Warren Average's room, room 109. In club news, there will be no Spanish club meeting tomorrow because of the field trip. Do you like free pizza, playing games, and watching movies? Then come out to the gym and movie night after school this Friday until 7 p.m. Meet in room 310 right after school. Bring a snack to share. All interested students are welcome. Sponsored by SFC. Student Council nomination forms for the 2019-2020 school year are available in room 120. Completed forms must be returned to Ms. Hepler by tomorrow. See Ms. Hepler with any questions. Earth Day is April 22nd. Leading up to Earth Day this year, Sea Club is bringing you some facts. This year's theme is Protect Our Species. The fact of the day today is our big cats, including tigers, lepers, and cheetahs, cheetahs are in critical decline, and many will become extinct in the next decade. The world's cats are exploited for their body parts and skin. China remains the world's largest market for these critically endangered species, along with the black rhino and other species. In school news, auditions for the Senior Directed One Acts will take place today after school in the auditorium. Auditions are open to any student. Need a job? New job listings are posted for Bruno's of Lebanon plus a Hershey Park job fair for April 10th. Check out the information on the Jobs Available Board under the skylight in the 100 hallway. All students can attend a Lancaster Barnstormers game for free at the Manufacturing Education Day on April 27th. Tickets are free for you and your parents, but you must sign up ASAP at the College and Career Center desk in the library in order to reserve them. See Mrs. Follett for details. Temple University in Philadelphia has a variety of summer programs for 10th, 11th, and 12th grade students. Visit www.temple.edu slash summer for more information. Susquehanna University in Sealands Grove, PA offers a wide variety of summer classes. Whether you like to act, play music, write, or crawl under rocks looking for salamanders, this summer program is sure to have some interest, something of interest for you. Visit www.susqu.edu backslash academics for more information or stop in the counseling office. There is some financial aid available. On March 21st, there were ID scanners added into certain parts of the school. BV2 correspondents Philip Patches and Rachel Andor are in the counseling office with Mr. Thompson to talk about them right now. Thanks, guys. I'm here in the office to talk to Mr. Thompson about the new ID scanner, but first, I'm going to have to sign myself in. Good morning, Mr. Thompson. Good morning, Philip. How are you? Good, how about you? Doing well. Well, we're here to talk to you about the new ID scanner. Yeah. So, what was the reason that they installed the ID scanner anyway? Well, um, in part of the counseling office, we want to keep each of you and everyone who visits confidential. And that's a big part of a counseling philosophy is like you're keeping records confidential. Uh, with our old model of just having the book laying out, it'd be easy for you to come down and sign in, but you could see the list of names of everybody who came in that day, which is something that we just don't want to, the counseling office wants you to know you're coming here and it's safe and that you know that when you're here, not, you know, it's not broadcasting to the world who else has been here. So we put the system in so that now it's, just, it's a record that we can see everyone who's been here, but it keeps your information safe and confidential so others don't see who's been here. Okay, and how effective do you feel like it's been with the new scanning system? 
Yeah, talking to um, Mrs. Hartman and Mrs. Niso, they both report that it's uh, it's been going really well. Just like anything new, there's always kinks you got to work out of the system when you're trying to upstart something new. But overall, the ladies seem happy with it, and we as counselors have been very pleased with it as well. All right, well, that should be all for the day. Thank you so much, and I'll send it back to the desk. These idea scanners were put into the counseling office as well as the nurse's office and the front desk in the lobby. And now we send it over to Cole with your sports news. As in sports news, the track and field team ran and threw a huge 79-71 win over McCaskey last night. Iron sharpened iron, as the Falcons were led to victory by multiple event winners including Ryan Chicatano, William Sheffield, Jake Barrett, Chappelle Gibbs, and Eric Borziniak. And some single event winners including Nate Shutter, Tommy Bildizer, Chris Byler, Dylan Stiver, and Zach Herzog. Other standout efforts were reported by Alex Miller, Luke Heingartner, Anthony Reese, Isai Santos, Zach Clayman, and Mark Feldman. The girls track and field team dropped a close meet against McCaskey, 77-73. The girls were led by double event winners Deja Holloman, Shayla Bonzelay, and Gwyneth Young. The boys tennis team added another win to their resume with a 6-1 win over Lampeter Strasburg, earning points from for the Falcons were seniors Jack Marika, Justin Hilty, Adam Brightbill, and junior Dylan Toll, who remained undefeated on the season, along with freshman sensation Garrett Marika. The Falcons take on CV at home on Wednesday. The girls lacrosse team exploded for 14 goals in the first half on their way to the 21-11 win over Penn Manor last night. Emily Beard went into beast mode with seven goals and five assists. Maria Brandt scored six, Hannah Wolfling five, Kendall Wise, Isabel Sinico, and Caroline Manbeck each scored once. The boys lacrosse team fell to Penn Manor 14-9 last night. Patrick Hansel had a hat trick, Trey Kolbach and Matt Nasser had two goals along with an assist. Gabe Stover scored a goal and Connor Aiken closed out the scoring with a goal. TJ Moore kept it close with 16 saves in net. On Saturday, the boys baseball team blanked Northern Lebanon 10-0. Pitcher Dan Mansell went, and went the distance for the win. Last night, the baseball team overpowered Lebanon 12-2. Logan Horn threw seven strikeouts in six innings for the win. Anyone interested in playing football this Sunday, April 14th, will be the last skills and drill session. It will be from 12 noon to 1.30 in the high school gymnasium. The coaches hope to see you there. All returning girls basketball players, there will be an informational meeting regarding summer plans on Thursday, April 11th at 7.30 a.m. in the new gym. See Coach Lutz if you have any questions. That's all for your sports news. Now back to the desk. Thanks, Cole. There's a last-minute birthday announcement. Happy birthday to Mitiana. Hope you have a great day, and we love you. From Jasmine, Morgan, and Sarah. That's all for your morning announcements today. I'm Emma Eisman. And I'm Abby Greenwell. Make it a great day, Cedar Crest.